hey hi everyone this is rahul tucker uh, from mumbai so uh, if you remember a few days back i unboxed a new action camera that is hj6 legend action camera uh, that was unboxing of that and today today i thought i should give you the review of that camera how i felt uh, you know what are the positives what are the negatives that i felt about that camera uh, and i'll also give you some you know the audio video quality footage we will just uh, take the videos with the different resolutions so with the same settings okay which will give you idea basically how this camera performs all right so this is the camera that i was talking about and uh, i'll show you closely again uh, you know uh, how how this camera basically uh, looks like okay and then we will go ahead with the videos as well wherein you will basically you yourself can judge this camera with the video quality audio quality and it will be a raw footage i will not edit anything i'll just put those uh, uh, videos directly in this video here so you can judge okay and you can decide how this camera is for you so let's go ahead All right, here it is. Uh, now, if you'll talk about the build quality, okay, it's pretty good. It's a little heavy as well with battery. Now, it has a rubber, rubber, what do you say, finishing. So it will not slip easily from your hand. Okay, that's what I can see. Uh, now, these are all positives that I'm talking about, okay. Uh, now yeah now the best positive as i said it is the rubber grip then it gives you 166 degree wide angle view so that's what you can uh, use it for uh, 166 degrees re really a wide angle guys now if you're using it you know uh, better than me now this camera you can manage this camera basically from uh, uh, you know by a screen touch as well okay and uh, you can manage it from this buttons as well which are given here if you can see uh, this is this is another positive if you, you don't have to depend on the screen all the time okay you can use these buttons as well uh, especially when this camera is in the uh, water waterproof casing all right now uh, you get a lot of attachments uh, with this camera which you normally don't get with uh, that is I'm I'm talking about the accessories you don't get normally with uh, other branded cameras okay but with this camera you do get uh, you know, accessories a lot of accessories now another another best especially you know which I liked another quality of this camera is this tripod mount now with the other action camera there are a few other cameras where if you want to attach this camera to a tripod or to a monopod you have to put it into the you know that casing and then you have to attach that to a tripod and all that stuff so over here you don't have to depend on the tripod i mean the 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 accessories directly you can attach the tripod uh, to this mount that is really a good one now yeah you 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 can attach a microphone as well just to let you know uh, to this camera so if you are doing a vlogging with this camera that would be really a handy small camera for vlogging that's what you can use it as uh, it is a wi-fi uh, it has a wi-fi uh, feature as well so that is again another uh, positive about this camera and uh, it gives you one 128 gb expandable uh you know memory here it is uh, the card here yeah, you can insert the card here so you can put that maximum of one 128 gb right now i'm using 64 gb that is really uh you know enough for me actually these are all positives that i felt you know after using this camera for quite in fact for you know few days now 
I have not uh, taken this camera out anywhere till now but so far this is what I, I felt positives about this after using uh, you know there will be more positives that you can tell me about this camera now talking about uh, what they have to improve on now I saw the footage on this camera the videos that I take from this uh, camera the contrast level is really high that's what I saw so you have to edit the videos and uh, make sure you bring down the contrast okay that's what you need to do secondly it gets very very hot if you'll use it uh, for uh, sometimes after that you know within five ten minutes it's it it really gets very hot so you have to be really careful when you keep this uh, or when you use a waterproof casing for this camera that is uh, another thing that they have to improve on and the battery life guys battery life <laughs> you need to have extra battery for this uh, camera uh, that's what I would advise you uh, so because I, I uh, tried the battery life on this camera it it gave me you know what I did was I just kept this camera on for uh, you know on and to see for how long it can uh, yeah, it can sustain so I saw the footage of uh, 50 minutes or 50 minutes plus so hardly it gives you 50 55 minutes of battery life if you keep it on uh, continuously non-stop for uh, any kind of a video so again it depends on what resolution video you're using okay and the one that I used it was uh, 1080p uh, 60 frame per second that's what I used and yeah those are the things so far I felt they need to imp and yes and the fisheye effect uh, guys if you know this this camera gives you a fisheye effect uh, so that is something you know you have to work on uh, if you know the settings uh, distortion you have to keep it on so that will reduce the uh, fisheye effect that is the another thing that they have to improve on okay so let us go ahead guys and I'll uh, show you some uh, uh, videos raw videos which are taken uh, from this camera and what I'll do is uh, you know I'll be uh, keeping all other settings same uh, apart from the resolution I'll keep on changing the resolution I'll keep it in the same place still to show you how wide angle uh, uh, you know it basically covers and then I'll be taking the videos as well okay and uh, I will keep electronic uh, image stabilization on uh, so it has a level low level high level and off so I'll keep it on low level because again that affects the quality of the video if you keep it on high or low for that matter but still low will be fine so we will work out on that all right so let us go ahead and see how uh, you know we will check now the audio video quality okay of this camera okay here we go now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll be keeping a resolution so first we'll try with 4k okay so I'll select 4k okay. always keep the uh, you know, 10 minutes of uh, loop recording then this is the wide angle okay we'll keep the wide angle on Blue light on uh, I keep it off I'll keep it on it's low okay this is basically a image stabilization so I'll keep it on low and your on volume okay 
video format I'll keep it at mp4 I'll keep it high bit rate sharpness I'll keep strong white balance auto uh, white balance I'll keep it daylight maybe I'll keep it on zero so metering I'll keep it average okay I'll keep it center now distortion gets automatically off when you select the white balance thing if I'll keep it on sorry a white balance if I'll keep it okay it is auto uh, I'll keep it at daylight okay everything will keep it as it is 4k resolution okay let's see what is the video we get okay this is 4k video and I've kept the stand stable so you can see how wide it is now I'll carry this camera along with me and let us see how what video we get just a moment and just remember it is 4k wide angle now this is 2k wide angle so you can see how wide it is if there is any changes let me know because right now I'm not able to figure it out and at the same time I'm giving you a video and audio quality remember that as well now I'll move the camera okay It is remember again it is 2k wide angle video giving you the audio and video quality so you decide how it is how good or how bad now this is 1080 uh, 60 frames per second wide angle on the same spot now I'll move the camera let us see you decide which one is good which one is the best one now this video is 1080 30 frames per second wide angle on the same spot stable camera now I'll move the camera so again audio and video quality testing so you can check by yourself how good it is now friends this video is uh, with a special settings which is 1080 30 frames per second super wide angle so it is a stable camera now you decide how it is now I'll move the camera and please check the audio and video quality
and let me tell you I'm going to put the raw videos from this camera so I'm not going to edit anything so it'll be easy for you to decide now this video is 720 60 frames per second wide angle again camera at one place now I'll be moving the camera the spot that I've used is my uh, terrace so I think help us a lot to understand audio and video quality both so as far as angles are concerned we have a wide angle middle and narrow so now this video is 2k 30 frames per second middle angle so you can see the difference here I'm not sure what is the difference you can you can try to figure it out it is mid angle not wide angle let us move the camera now remember it is again a uh, default settings I've just changed uh, to 2k 30 uh, FPS and uh, mid angle all right now I'll move the camera So you can check audio and video quality it is 2k 30 fps mid angle that is middle angle that's what it was showing on the screen there now again the settings are default settings resolution is uh, 2k 30 frames per second and narrow narrow angle all other settings are same as I said default settings I've just changed to 2k 30 fps and narrow angle so let us move the camera now so guys again check the video and audio quality in these videos and the same time what are the difference in videos because I've been changing the angles and the settings as well at the same time. I hope uh, this is giving you a really fair idea how this camera basically performs. And remember again, it is a raw footage. Okay, I have not made any addition or any editing in these videos. Now, all these videos that you saw, you know, with the different res resolutions and, uh, diff you know, and the settings. So I already told you in that, uh, you know, while I was taking the video from that camera, what settings I've used there. So you'll get an idea basically, you know, how this camera performs in the different settings. Okay. And, uh, you know, that will tell you the performance of the camera as well. So, yeah, uh, that's all uh, from me. Uh, overall uh, it is pretty good camera uh, you know which is uh, basically in such a low price it is it is pretty good that's what I felt and I'm going to use it for my uh, my my trips as well so let's see how that works for me and thank you for watching uh, the entire video so if if there is anything that you want me to know Please uh, mention that in the comments. Please do that. I, 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 even I want to learn from you all. And uh, secondly, like if you if you liked it, please click on like button there, and please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe because that is going to help me to put more and more videos. And let me tell you, this is not the end. It is just the beginning because I've just bought these cameras to do a lot of travel. So please subscribe me and you'll see a lot of trips coming very soon. Thank you.